Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to episode 3 of Red Dead Redemption. I believe in this episode we're going to steal a train, hopefully. I believe that's what they said in the last video I recorded. Hmm. Without further ado guys, let's just get right into it. Oh yeah, this is where we left off well, in the last episode. Him his last rides. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Of course I do, but. Look at you. I was always ugly, that you. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Coach. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of that. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now. Railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower. Just I guess this is where we go start hey, this, ra this train Why robbery. We go on this? Weather's breaking, this. we could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah. Come on. What do you want from me, Jose? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Jose. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. <laughs> Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. What do you we mean make something of ourselves? I thought we were already doing something. Come on, let's ride. 
always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at it, Dutch. You sure mm -hmm. you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say we go back. And that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down? See how he's getting on? Okay. Hold. I should have grabbed my horse. What the hell was I doing? Nope, nope. Slow down, slow down. You know what? I'm just gonna go back for my horse. I'm not running all this. This is completely horrible. Way to tell me guys to go get my horse. Alright, boy. This is a good spot. Yeah. I must remember that home was written it out so well. Hey, what you doing? Set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Doesn't sound like he thinks I could do this. Horrible. Easy does it, slow and steady wins the race. Can't wait to see this train blow up. Things explode. All of you, no mistakes. This is what it's all about: stealing trains, blowing them up. Bring it on. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your faces. Train should be here any minute now. Includes you, Arthur. Why are you doing this, Arthur? Just pull up your bandana. Cover your face, Arthur. Here we go, guys. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do.
Wait, what? No. No. Come on. Where did you find that moron? Who said it was fine? Come on! You're pathetic. I was really hoping for that to explode. Like, I was really waiting for that. Why don't? Why are we on our horse? Why are we running? How are we gonna catch up to the train if we're not on our way? We okay, we're jumping. That's what we're doing. Well, he gone, clearly. And I'm stuck with the guy who has a bad hand. So that's what we're doing. If you say that one more time, man, I heard you the first time. Just trying to loot what, what, what shooting them. Oh, that was a clean shot. That one, not so much. Should we move up? Seriously, man? There we go. Loot in peace, man. I'm just trying to loot. Finally, stutter. Stay, stay still, stay still. Come on, stay still. There you go. Where is backup at? Like. You gotta bring my horse? Like...
Two, all right? Yes, let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this lad's car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four. Three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. We got no way in here. That's enough. Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Now light the fuse. Here we go. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Blow it up. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> it's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just gonna stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will ya? I'm parched. <laughs> Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Dear uh, Miss Cornwall, we are yet to receive a team in 2000 for the initial phase of exploration that. at the Wapti Indian Reservation. Okay. And Brunet. As agreed in the contract between Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tar, and the leading oil de development company, dated November 9th, 18 1898. On receipt, of the refund, we will proceed with phases two, three, to project the present. There. You will, See, you with a detailed report of your findings with the month. You respectfully, paper. James Kiffley, so. head of account, Leland Oil yeah. Development Company. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can so, Miss, Mr. Cornwall's been behind on his payments, so they can't move up or down with his project. Then. Contracts. Apparently he owes two thousand dollars. That's blah, a lot of this time. Got anything? Not really. Sugar imports from the Spanish West Indies. A lot of sugar. Some fancy new boat. Another from letter. Europe. Dear <laughs> Levi Tickers, I'm butchering these names. Thank you for the telegram and for your continued interest in the Jameson Mining Company, Jameson Whiskey. Have However, you any news you have it? received of mismanagement, mismanagement or Financial difficulties at the mine and the Ansberg are simply oh, fake, and I would urge you to boys. question your sources. The coal, the coal industry is quite different from the oil industry much, in a yeah. number of ways. So I certainly remain open looking. to a business meeting at your convenience yeah, to exchange yeah, ideas and educate each other on our respective areas of cooperative expertise. I would contracts. also be delighted to host you in Ansberg and give you a personal there? tour of the mine and its associates facilities. I look Keep forward looking. to further correspondence. Yours sincerely, Arch Archibald Jameson. Jameson Whiskey. So the oil and industry and the coal industry aren't 100% getting along yet? I mean, it's that time change. Too. Hmm. It's crazy. Now, 
This looks like something. I think I got him. Nice. Well, thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Just waiting on you, Arthur. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. Now, would you get rid of all of this? The train? Yeah, get it out of here. What about them? Well, what do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride! Okay, get on the train, quick, all of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on, move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Get a move on. Away and go oh, Mary's there. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed a Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. Well, then let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. 
You can buy me a whiskey. Keep us moving, but calm. Ah, shit. Okay, let's take a look. You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. Right, you still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. See? You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. Trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on, let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. Follow the river, then cut left inland. Yep. So, yes, the Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them, it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, Maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't. In spite of Dutch's talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget. This here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just cause it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. Yeah. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? Uh, it's a long story. Yeah. We still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. 
You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls. Our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? <laughs> it's just, you know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that fairy job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. It's the way it is. Always has been. Me, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time. And we're still here, so... Well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. So, gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolation. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. Up for robbing banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone 
to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit with more common sense than you. Do it properly. into some pretty enough country called the Heartland. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more. We're free. Well guys, I'm sorry for the video like corruption. So, sorry about that. Anywho, I'll see you guys on the next one. You all